Welcome to Kingdom Principles for Daily Living by Doxa Mission. At Doxa Mission, we believe in healing for the total person, spirit, soul, and body. I am Dr. Ndidi Dag. Looking at the subject, 2022, Year of Divine Favor. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks, even as we go into your word. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to enter this year, 2022. Father, we believe that this is our year that you will favor us. Father, use me as a vessel to bring your word and help us be doers of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's look at what favor means. By dictionary definition, favor refers to promoting one person over another person. It refers to bestowing privilege upon a person or to treat carefully or gently um, a particular person or part of a person's body. And so as we go on, we'll look at our subject. Now, God has promised us a divine favor this year, not because of specifically us, but because of his son, Jesus Christ because we are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. Let's look at Psalm 5 verse 12. We'll be looking at it in the Amplified Version. For you, O Lord, will bless the uncompromisingly righteous, him who is upright and in right standing with you, as with a shield you will surround him with goodwill, pleasure, and favor. And let's look at Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For our sake, he made Christ virtually to be seen who knew no sin, so that in and through him we might become endued with, viewed as being in, and examples of the righteousness of God what we ought to be approved and acceptable and in the right relationship with him by his goodness. Now I'm reading these in Amplified because it explains itself. You can look at these scriptures in other translations, whatever translations you have, and you will see that the understanding is clear. Now as we have seen, divine favor is not earned because it is not get gotten from merit. Now, many of us, and I know before I understood this, I would think that I was the least for God to favor. But as I begin to understand the reason why God blesses, the reason why God favors, then I have confidence that I am counted among the number. And the reason is, if I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, if I am a child of God, if I do things according to how he does, I know I will make mistakes, but once these happen, as I realize them, I come before him and get myself in right standing with him. Once I am in right standing with God, then his divine favor is my portion. Let's look at Romans 9, 15 to 16 as we go on. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy on, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, God's gift is not a question of human will and human effort, but of God's mercy. It depends not on one's own willingness, nor on his strenuous exertion, as in running a race, but on God's have mercy 
having mercy on him. Now let's look at Genesis 39 verses 1 to 6. We'll be looking at the story of God's divine favor on Joseph. Let me read it. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, the captain and chief executioner of the royal guard, an Egyptian brought, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had brought him down there. But the Lord was with Joseph, and he, though a slave, was a successful and prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to flourish and succeed in his hand. So Joseph pleased Potiphar and found favor in his sight, and he served him. And his master made him supervisor over his house, and he put all that he had in his charge. From the time that he made him supervisor in his house and over all that he had, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the Lord's blessing was on all that he had in the house and in the field. And Potiphar left all that he had in Joseph's charge and paid no attention to anything he had except the food he ate. Now Joseph was an attractive person and fine looking. Now as we see the case of Joseph, we see God's favor on him. Now all Joseph did was maintain his integrity and serve God. And wherever he went, favor followed him. And so this is the encouragement I am giving us. We should maintain our service for God. Maintain our right standing with him. And as surely as we do it, favor is our portion in this year, 2022. Now, divine favor has a set time. And God's set time for us is 2022. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, You will arise and have mercy and loving kindness for Zion. For it is time to have pity and compassion on her. Yes, the set time has come. The moment designated. Now, when you look at how the Bible is translated, the word time in English translated is translated from several Hebrew words. In English, it is one word, but in the Hebrew words used in writing the original Bibles, there are three different kinds of times that were referred to. One is chronos, which is the Hebrew for quantity of time. And this quantity of time will refer to a certain period of time. So if in the Hebrew language you are talking of a period of time, you will talk, you will say chronos. The second is ion. And for this you'll be talking of a season, like winter, summer, spring, a season. While the third type of time is kairos, which is a quality of time or a set time, which is what is described in Psalm 102.13. A set time, kairos time. And I put it to you that our set time, our kairos time for God's favor is 2022. Kairos, which is set time, is also appointed time and opportune time. God is not governed by time. He was there before time. He created time and he stepped out of time. He governs time. When his set time comes, as we are saying, I have said that 2022 is our set time for God's favor. You can take it as a prophetic word. If you receive it, it will come to pass in your life. But when it's set time comes, nothing can stop it. There are many examples in the Bible about when God's set time comes for something. God's set time came for the exodus of the Israelites. And no matter what the Egyptians did, 
even in spite of what the Israelites did themselves, it still came to pass. God talked about this and set the time when he spoke to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. Genesis 15, 13. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward they shall come out with great substance. And if you go ahead and read further, you will see that this is what came to pass. But you will see as it came to pass in Exodus chapter 2 verse 23. As it reads, and it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel shied by reason of the bondage. And they cried and they came up unto God by reason of the bondage. If you keep reading from Exodus chapter 2, you will see that Cairo's time came for them. And it came to pass. God moved impossibilities and made it possible for them to move forth and break through to leave Egypt as God spoke to Abraham. When God's divine favor comes, you and I, will be sought after. People in position will ask for us. These examples are shown like that of blind Bartimaeus. When it is that time, nobody can hide you. Nobody can put you down. Nobody can slow you down. The example is in Mark chapter 10. If you read from before verse 49, the story of a blind Bartimaeus. I'm just reading that one verse as we go on. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. Now these were the same set of people. When blind Bartimaeus was crying out, Master, son of David, have mercy on me. They told him to shut up. Serious people are moving around. I'm paraphrasing it. People are walking around. You stupid blind beggar, you are making noise. Stop making that noise there, man. Don't disturb the, 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 the master. And they put him down. If he had not spoken out louder, then it would, he would, might not have been noticed. But it was a set time, and he cried out louder, and Jesus said, bring him here or come here. And these same people who were putting him down were the ones who said the word, be of good comfort, rise, he called it thee. And so this year, 2022, our time of favor, we will be sought after. Even when we stay on our own, favor will come after us. Another example is David, David was forgotten, forgotten by even one of the most important people in his life. In spite of his being forgotten, everything was put on hold for his behalf. First Samuel sixteen eleven, and Samuel said unto Jesse, "I hear all thy children," and he said. There remained yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Stand and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. Everything was put at a halt until David was called. Even though his own father, whom you wouldn't have expected to forget him, forgot that he existed as his child. But this was the Kairos time for David. He said time that he will not be forgotten. And so, he was sought after. In Jesus' name, you will be sought after in this 2022, your time of favor. Expect God's favor everywhere you go this year. And as you do it, you will be sought after. God's favor will overtake you. And we will have cause to testify of his glory this year. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Thank you for listening. If you were blessed by this message, please like it and share with others. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more messages at Doxa Missions. That is D O X A M I S S I O N S on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook at Doxa Missions and on Twitter at Doxa Missions. We are also on Instagram at Doxa Missions SLU. God bless you.